Very nice. All right, so today we're at the field and we're going to be testing this new mentee right here. You may remember about a year ago, we did another test with another mentee. Uh, this time, instead of putting an actual drone in here, because this is supposed to go on the Mavic 3, we weren't going to put this on the Mavic 3, so we built one. And uh, this is a crash test dummy right here. We, have, we don't have a name yet actually for it, so make sure you tell us what you want us to call this crash test dummy because it's going to be making more appearances in the future. But here's the mentee right here. Same, pretty much the same design that we've seen before, except this time, uh, you can actually change the entire top right here and we'll show you how to do that after we do the first flight we have a camera that we put on here the go just so we can see the parachute deploy and then at the bottom we put a gopro it's actually an action cam from dji and uh, we're going to see what uh, it records on impact you notice that we have a bunch of screws right here uh, this is obviously a dummy test so we wanted to make sure that this wasn't going to flip over so we kind of uh, bottom weighted it a little bit we also have this right here which is a dropper we did a review of this in our accessory video about a couple months ago and what we did is we attached it to octozilla this is octozilla you've seen it before as well uh, when we do reviews with drones this is where we put the drones but here's the dropper right here and it's very simple we can just open the dropper right here using the button we can put this in place close it in place and there it is so let's go ahead and do the first flight we're gonna fly at 200 feet and then if this is successful we'll do another flight at 100 feet let's get to it you ready Three, two, one. Woo! All right, let's go get it, let's go get it. Oh my God. It's coming for you, Taylor. Well, the first flight was a success. We dropped it from 200. It deployed pretty quickly, probably right around 40 feet underneath it. We're gonna try again at 100 feet. Now you see this thing here, the parachute is all included inside of this box. All we really have to do at this stage is take one of these, which is the replacement. The parachute is inside. Now this is new in the old drone, uh, in the old Menti, you actually had to put the recharge and repack the parachute. Here, we're just gonna plug this in. There's four screws in the back, so we're gonna remove the screws, put it back on and then try it again. So let's get to it. Jason, two, one. Woo! Oh, camera went down. All right, well, this concludes the test. I have to say, this thing is pretty cool. I think it's a little bit better than one we had on the other Menti, the, the previous model that we saw. Just because you don't have to repack, you just get a whole capsule, you remove four screws, you put it in, that's a lot easier. I have to say that this is nerve wracking at 100 feet. I would not recommend going any lower than 200 feet uh, when you have this installed, just because the amount of time it took for it to deploy and then coming down, it came down safely. I don't think any damage would happen to any of the drones, but still, it was, uh, it was really interesting to see it wait 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 and finally open up so if you want more information about this product make sure you look at the website we'll put links down in the description and as always like subscribe and we'll see you on the next video